Does it ever stop raining here, boys? Pacific North trim the trees up here with a machete, an axe, and a hatchet. Council tools out. This is the uh, sports utility model works fine. Has touch the edge up, cuts right through stuff just fine. Through this branch here, the one that was right out here that I cut, that would go out, cut that one. Pretty much cut through the, like a hot knife through butter. And uh, I think I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, blurriness in this video, but it's because it's raining and um, yeah. Does it ever stop raining in the Pacific Northwest? Only in the summer. And sometimes in the summer. It just keeps coming and coming. Um, yeah, this path here is down to a spot where we caught the otter last year. And then back there is a field. And back in there is a hunting area. My brother's elk down in there. So there's a swamp down there. And there's there's also some, uh, also some uh, water. There's a river down there. Taking a break real quick, but cleared the path. There's a tree across this with a bunch of like 20 million different uh, arms sticking across it. So I had to cut all the arms, throw them in the woods. But uh, we're making progress, boys and girls and everyone watching this. But man, I am dehydrated, but that's no big deal. Um, I got water in the truck. But uh, yeah, I'm dehydrated. What I'm dehydrated from is not this. I'm dehydrated from all the salty turkey that I ate. Ate the turkey, I kept eating turkey, kept eating turkey, kept eating turkey, and I was like, dang, this is good, so I kept eating it. Oh yeah, it was a bit salty. Um, yeah, my brain hurts a little bit because I'm dehydrated, but uh, it's no big deal. I got plenty of hydration in the truck. If I need to, I'll go walk back over there, and I'll be fine. Don't need to worry about me. Um, I'm well aware of the risks and everything. I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's literally raining. My phone is covered in water drops. If you could see what I'm seeing right now, the whole thing's covered in water drops. Like I, I don't even. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time hitting the exit button um, or stop button on this. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing here is cleaning this trail here. This whole thing went all the way across here. I had to clean that all up and throw it all in the woods. So yeah, about fell over. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Shout out to Monster Fishing Apparel, um, one of my sponsors for fishing. One of the hats they sent me um, as part of the pro staff. Um, I get a discount on it. Um, if you need a discount code for Monster Fishing Apparel for your loved ones for the holiday, let me know and uh, yeah, I'll get you the discount code for you. I think it's like 15% off the whole whole cart. So everything you check out is 15% off. If you want the discount code, what's that on my hand? Uh, let me know. I'll hook you guys up with a discount code. I got something specially for you guys if you want it. Once again, it's Monster Fishing Apparel. They got shark logos. They got fit dorado logos they got all kinds of fish logos and uh monster m-o-n-s-t-a fishing apparel um so yeah it's a great company run by a fabulous young gentleman out of Fort, um out of corpus christi texas um out here in the pacific northwest as you can tell there's some mountains right back there um it's raining it's uh yeah i'm, in, I'm technically in the mountains so i'm up about as far up if you were to head to Highway 26, you can stop in the middle, top of the hill, as high as you can go on that highway, and you go off the road about three, four miles. That's where I'm at. Um, middle of forest, middle of nowhere, literally in the on the top of the mountain right now. Um, yeah, so I'm up there. One of my honey whores that I'm gonna trap this year. It's where we got, like I said, this is where we got the otter. Um, I'm taking a little break right now, but uh, yeah, letting you guys check it out. Cutting some stuff in the machete. 24 inch traumatina the rest with the uh council tools hat belt hatchet or hudson bay belt hatchet and then the council tools um what is it boys sports utility axe there's a 2.25 pound head it cuts in this stuff nice real nice i didn't really adjust the uh geometry or the angle of the cuts i just kind of took the burrs off and it cuts right through the stuff a couple swings i'm through it no big deal if i wanted to i could take down a tree with it if i wanted to but it's a smaller axe, so I'm not going to really worry about that. If I wanted to cut down a tree, obviously I'd take down, take out a three and a half to four pound or bigger, um, 36 inch handle versus 24. But it's my trapping hatchet and trapping axe, so got to be able to do what you got to do, and you got to be able to clear a little stuff like this when you need to. And uh, that's what it's for, and that's what I bought it for, and it works fantastic. All right, have a good one, guys. Signing out. Peace.